Hey, how you doing? It's been a while. I'm, I'm glad to be doing these videos again. Wedding season is finally, you know, slowing down. We're only editing now, so I'm super happy. But today, we're gonna be taking a look at this cheap Chinese electric sport bike. I'm gonna see how far it actually goes on one charge. I'm kind of skeptical. It says 70 miles, or, or 70 kilometers, excuse me, um, which is about 40 miles of range, they say. We're gonna put that to the test today. Um, again, I already know I got scammed on this bike. The hub motor is only a 3,000 watt motor. I paid for a 5,000 watt motor. Batteries are significantly cheaper than the ones I paid for as well. So I'm really skeptical that it's actually gonna go 70 kilometers on one charge. All right, so before we begin, here's proof. If you can even see that, because the screen is very dim, yeah, that is full. You can see, you can clearly see that it is full. It is at 73 volts, it says zero kilometers so let's give it a shot Jinji moto should be here any time look who just showed up hey, it's Jinji moto there he is so i'm actually the expert witness today i'm also praying to the chinese gods that this chinese girl keeps me safe and keeps me from being pulled over today it's a straight shot all the way down the street and we'll probably just go up and down for a while <laughs> just do laps yeah i forgot how slow this thing was <laughs> All right, we'll just go over here. We'll just turn around. <laughs> Am I reading this right? Is it at half battery already? What the frick? I literally just started. Literally just started riding. Oh, that's a great sound. Let me see. Oh, maybe I'm just not seeing it right. Yeah, it looks like it's green. That screen is so hard to see, though. That screen is ridiculously hard. <laughs> oh, wow. Now we're good. I'm just waiting to. I thought. I thought because you can't see the screen at some angles. It looked like it was already almost dead. Well, that's interesting because I can see the screen at all angles. Wow. On it's like it's an actually bicycle. decent bike. Yeah. All right. Let's continue this test. Let's just keep it rolling. I am in full gear today, by the way, because I really don't trust this thing as far as safety. I've only ridden it a handful of times, and I don't really want to put it all the way to the test without wearing some gear. Yeah, I'm already down 106 bars. It is almost at two kilometers. So if I had to guess, I think this is just showing that it's like dying just because it's a lot like that e-bike that, that Jinji's on right now. Um, basically, if you have the throttle wide open, it just calculates at that current output, how far can you go? And it probably shows it's super dead because it's super high output for the batteries. That's probably why. Let's see what we're at right now. So we're still only down one bar. One of six. I'm down one of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> one of ten. So this has more uh, more range than that does. Too. It, it probably does. Yeah, it probably does. I think we might. I might just run it till it's half, and then just extrapolate the rest out, minus like five miles or something, because the bottom charge never lasts very bottom. Yeah. I'll probably just extrapolate it out like that. Let's switch. I said let's switch. You take this one, I take this one. Yeah, dude. All right. Have fun. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is much more like it. You see, you can't even see the display to know that your blinker's on. This thing's garbage.
it's at 8.7 kilometers right now and it's halfway down, charge is halfway down. We are currently at 67.5 volts just sitting. And uh, so it's definitely decreasing. I definitely can feel that it gets slower over yeah. time, well, clearly. I was noticing that when I was riding it too. That, yep. Like, the top speed went down to like 37 instead of the 41 kilometers it was doing. Yep, yep. So I can barely hit 30 kilometers on this stretch right here. Really? Yeah. What about going Well, on? 33 I think I got up to right here. So, yeah. I went 31 to 32 kilometers an hour. This is full throttle all the way down this stretch. Yeah, I'm like full throttle. It's barely even going. Yeah, now we're on red. Check it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're on red right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah. They told me 70, 70 kilometers per charge. We're at 10 kilometers, 10.1 kilometers now, and we're almost dead. And it's barely going. I mean, I'm, I'm at 30, not quite 30 kilometers per hour right now, which is like, what is that, 18 miles per hour, full throttle. I'm at full throttle right now, and there's Jinji Moto passing me on a 500 watt motor e-bike. Yeah, yeah, that's just disappointing. All right, I think we may just call it here, dude. Cause I mean, it's just so pathetic that I feel like we don't even need to go any farther. Yeah. I can't even, I got up to like 28 kilometers per hour on that whole strip, which is, and what is that like? Hill there too. Yeah, I know. And what is that like 15 miles per hour or something? I don't know, let's ask Siri. Yeah, ask Siri. But we're at 10.4 kilometers this yeah. whole charge. How fast is it? We are currently um, less than halfway now, I mean. It went down a while ago, a few passes ago. You were doing about 17 miles an hour. 17 miles per hour. Because I was supposed to get a bike that goes 70 kilometers, 70 kilometers per charge. We're at 10 kilometers and it's basically gutless and it's not doing anything. So I think we may just call it there. I think that wraps it up. Yeah, this is full throttle right here. You can see the kilometers per hour just barely creeping. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> It's gutless, it's full throttle and it does it. I can't even feel myself accelerating. That's, uh, that's just sad right there. All right, so we basically, we have tested this out. Right now, if you wanna come take a look, we are at, um, well, we're at 34 kilometers. It, okay. This doesn't work at all. <laughs> we were at 10.4 kilometers. It reset itself again, I guess. Um, we were at 10.4 kilometers, um, and we're halfway dead right now, the battery. But it's basically gutless, and it's going like 15 miles per hour on a straightaway, so we basically just called it there. Um, so what we're thinking is we're actually, we actually have some lead acid batteries in here. I really doubt they're lithium ion, just because over time it was going slower and slower and slower. That's definitely lead acid performance. Um, so I'm thinking my next step for this bike would be, um, first I need to see if I can register it. Um, if I can register it, which I think I can, the guy's going to send me the certificate of origin. That's all I need really to register a bike like this. Um, I hope. <laughs> yeah, if he sends it. If, if he sends it, but <laughs> he actually is, because I've been giving him a hard time about sending me the parts and everything. Um, and then he's, you know, whatever. I'm like, look, I'll, if you send me the certificate of origin, I'll be happy. And he's like, okay, we can definitely do that. Send me the VIN number. So I just did. Hopefully I hear back tonight. I think they will do that for me. Um, I don't think they're going to, I'm going to get the parts though. That's a big no. <laughs> but then I'm thinking I'm probably going to get a lithium ion battery for this bike. Um, it's definitely lead acid. That's, it's really bad performance. It's really cheap batteries. I'm sure. Hopefully it just doesn't catch my house on fire. That's really what I I'm hoping for. Um, so I'll probably upgrade the battery first. A lot of you guys also have said that the 3000 watt motor should put out a heck of a lot more performance than it's doing now. Um, 3000 watt motor uh, seems to be the general consensus that it will do 70 if you have the right battery and, and right um, tune. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Stay tuned. Lots more exciting things coming. Other builds also heading your way. And my wife and I are finally settled into our new house so I can actually get you some videos now. So, and wedding season's winding down. Wedding season is winding down. So we're only doing edits now. We're not covering stuff every single weekend, you know, like three a weekend like we previously were doing. 
these last couple months. So anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out.